We're at the headquarters of the 7th Annual El Segundo Art Walk. It's an event for anyone who appreciates art in all forms. The Art Walk brings together more than 50 artists and more than 40 small businesses in the downtown and Smoky Hollow areas of El Segundo. There's live music, exhibitions, and art for sale. So now that we've talked the walk, let's walk the walk. The El Segundo Art Walk is a live walking tour of the city of El Segundo. So all the local businesses, they, they open up their doors and we help place local artists, LA-based artists, um, and the people of El Segundo and the surrounding communities they get to explore the city and also see a variety of talented artists. We wait all year for the Art Walk. It's the one time out of the year where we can just walk around casually, see friends, see, see neighbors, just enjoying all the uh, exhibits and then uh, getting food. We love all the, the taco trucks and catering trucks that come out. It's just a fun time. And I'm looking forward to what the night brings because uh, most of our friends are coming later on this evening, so we're looking forward to that. And I like walking around and getting food. <laughs> Everyone knows El Segundo has so many cool events, so this event, Halloween, Christmas, I mean, you name it, this town is celebrating. So I just love to bring my family here to like, you know, I participate in the community stuff. Segundo Art Walk collaborated with local artist Andrew Hem to bring this 109-foot mural to El Segundo, just across the street from Fire Station Number One. It's basically just a combination of, uh, of parks from El Segundo that I just mashed up together, and uh, that inspired this piece here. And uh, just basically the kids, I wanted them just to run towards like the future, so I just made them uh, running right. I try to just combine all the things that I like, which is uh, figures, architecture, landscapes and uh, I'm obsessed with colors, so you know, I, I kind of just like blending all colors and this color combination is one of my favorite things. Anytime you can get a big, you know, south facing, so it's always gonna be in the sun, right? Big south facing wall like this for an artist to just go to town, it's great. Around town, artists proudly displayed their pieces to the public. These are photographs that I take when I go camping. I set up my camera and take single exposures like the one you see right here. And then I do continuous shoots, about three, four hundreds each. And then later on I combine them in Photoshop to create star trails. I have to remove airplanes and other lights and then and the outcome comes like this. I have this character, uh, it's a pink octopus. His name is Sir Henry the Octopus. Uh, it kind of started out in high school and uh, I kind of like to have drawings of scenes and then have, you know, a random octopus kind of in the scene randomly. I grew up here, a lot of people don't know that I do art, so you know, when they see me displaying art pieces that they've never seen before, you know, it kind of shows a different side. And then one of my favorite things is, I'm giving out free stickers at this time, and one of my favorite things is all the kids running around, and that's the first thing they're grabbing, and it kind of gets them interested a little bit in the artwork and what we're trying to like show, and it, I, I hope it kind of makes kids want to pursue an art or, you know, enjoy art more. Esmoa is absolutely thrilled to be part of the El Segundo Art Walk because it brings everyone together. It brings the city together it brings everyone who's walking in it is just a blast and I think El Segundo Art Walk just rocks it's awesome this is actually one of the biggest show we have it's a, a little bit the brain space of Rick Carter a two-time Oscar winning uh, production designer working together with eight LA based artists and so this is literally a visual piece people come in and they are first overwhelmed but the beautiful thing is you come in and you pick your own piece what you like and that's that's how you actually should approach art in general. I'm about finished with my break here at Esmoa and I'm sitting on the original bench from the movie Forrest Gump. And as they say, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. So let's head back outside and see who we run into.
We're at MAPT on Standard Street and I'm here with Emily Brantley. Emily, can you tell me a little bit about your art? Absolutely. So I'm an acrylic painter. I've been here in South Bay for nine years. Uh, I do a lot of ocean stuff, as you can see. Um, a lot of it's inspired from my travels in Hawaii or just our own beach right here in South Bay is so beautiful. My signature style is definitely this uh, acrylic on wood grain where um, it's a birch veneer and I take advantage of that natural wood grain and I go over it with several layers staining it to get that flow of the water and then paint my ocean animals on top of it. Um, super inspired by our South Bay Ocean right here and all the animals we get to see on a regular basis. Post-COVID, it's been amazing to get back together. Everyone's out in the community again, which is such a great feeling. And then, you know, local artists get to actually re-emerge and show their work. And pairing with the businesses like this is fantastic too. So it's kind of like win-win-win to everybody. Emily found her own unique style for her art. And Phil found his art and made it in his own unique style. About six, seven years ago, uh, my kids were all out of school and I would walk every day and people in El Segundo throw things away. So I had this idea of, of reusing, recreating things that had one function and give them another function, an artistic one. Taking a car part or something and turning it into something else had value and it also demonstrated how you can recycle things. Everything here is from pieces of things I found in El Segundo. These two items over here were inspired by Star Wars and I made it for my three sons. They are uh, made from old drills and old car parts and they won't let me sell them because they're Star Wars. It's fun to see everyone together enjoying stuff. Yeah exactly, it's an amazing time to get people outside and um, the arts are always something that should be celebrated. a pretty broad range. It wasn't just painting, it was like using different types of textures of like fabric and all different kinds of cool stuff. So I loved that. The food here is pretty awesome too, so I would definitely check that out. I just went to Brewport, tried a bunch of different types of beer. And this is a good way to bring everyone together to like eat and like talk about different art get artists out there feeling good, so it's nice. Well, we strolled down all the streets and viewed various forms of art with some really nice music along the way. According to the businesses, artists, and participants, the Art Walk was a big success. For Elsa Media, I'm Catherine Chen.